Hello and welcome back to Rodney Parade Newport and what a month February was. If you're new to the channel you've already missed out on so much drama um, but February has provided some as well. So hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be updated when I upload future videos in this season. I think we are going to have a very dramatic end to the season. Playing FM is always a constant battle, and FM certainly, during February, got its big guns out. January had been a very strange month, with that one defeat followed by three draws sandwiched in between the two wins, one either side of the month, and it, it, it had a very strange feeling, but we were still top of the league and what's more we were nine points clear however Swindon did have a game in hand and they did promptly win that game very quickly so in effect we're six points clear at the top of the league after almost 30 games and we're looking very good morale is high and everything is going very very well we were out of all the cup competitions so we only had the league to focus on and given our injury condition at the, at the beginning of February, we seem to be in very good shape going into this month. And with just two injuries, Christopher Misulu with a damaged foot, and he was likely to miss most of February, and Ryan Haynes, um, a more serious injury, a hernia, a double hernia, and he was expected to be out for about six weeks. But apart from that, we were looking in very, very good shape in terms of the medical centre. And despite our best efforts at the end of the transfer window, um, after we left you, we were unable to add to the two transfers we'd already brought in. Michael Parker from Motherwell on a free transfer, um, a young centre-back learning his trade, and Jamie Thomas, um, a fringe striker um, who we got in from Preston for 7.75k, and we were hoping for big things from both of those players. And so, let's go to the f schedule for February. And we started off with a fixture against Barrow, and that went according to plan, and we should have won that one, and Timmy Abraham scored in a 1-0 victory. But against Northampton, however, um, things came unstuck for us, and we lost 2-1. But Aaron Livermore did score his first goal for the club, and boy, what a goal it was. Fed in by Collins, steadies himself, and first goals for your club don't come any better than that. Next up was Oldham, and a game we should be winning, and win we did. Um, emphatic win by four goals to one, and Timmy Abraham getting his first hat-trick for the club, and Michael Parker getting his first goal for Newport too. Against Mansfield, though, a game we should be winning, a team who had been plummeting down the league. They came to Rodney Parade and went away with a 1-0 victory. And so, that brings us to our final fixture for February, a game against Tranmere Rovers, who are struggling in 20th place near the foot of the table, a game we should be winning very easily, and let's hope that we can do just that. In terms of team selection, we had Joe Day in goal, Clark, Parker, who was playing quite well, and Farkerson at the back. Cameron, Norman, and Dimitru were at wing back. Dimitru in because of a terrible injury crisis we've got going on. Dolan and Misulu in midfield, with Azaz, Abraham, and Collins up front. And so it's that time. Let's go to the match. And it's Newport that get us underway. Parker playing uh, his fourth game now for the club. Parker again feeds Clark. This is a game we really, really need to win. And failure to win this game 
will not be acceptable. And that will really open the door for the likes of Swindon and Forest Green and breathing down our necks now. But we're on the on the front foot, and here's Dolan. And Dolan gives it to Farkasan. And Dolan, as I said, we're pushing forward well ish until Dolan <laughs> decides to spray it all the way back to the goalkeeper from their eighteen yard box. I'm not really quite sure why he did that. But uh, Tranmere have a free kick. He finds Watson, Watson, with a fine effort and a great save from Day. Things are not going as I planned. Um, and why we are being driven backwards by this Tranmere side, I, I really don't know. Um, here's Foley, Foley, finds, and they're through again, and it's saved by Day at the second attempt. I'm going to have to do something here because it is not working out as I want. They are, we're letting them have far too much space in the middle, I think. So we're going to have to like, sweeten things up a little bit here. Anyway, it looks like what we're doing now is working as Wilmot brings the ball forward. Wilmot in for the suspended Aaron Lewis. He tries to cross to find Abraham. It's headed back out again. And Tranmere have the ball. And Tranmere bring it forward. At 40 minutes gone, it's pretty much a stalemate. Um, we may have to change one or two things at half-time. I'm not quite sure what to do yet, though, but we'll have a good think at half-time. Give the boys a good shaking up. And McDonald. And the other uh, are still bringing it forward, and it's very difficult to know what to do. Here's Watson. Watson drives one, and what a goal that was. I'm not sure there's anything we could do about that I I just felt it was coming um, FM really has got its big guns out here the injury crisis that we have we cannot cope and that is a fine strike from Watson um, we certainly do need to be pressing him a little bit more um, but it's New Newport nil Tramir overs one. Corner to Newport. Swung in by Dolan. The problem is we don't really look threatening at all. There's a shot by Masulu straight at the goalkeeper. Everything that we do is going straight to the goalkeeper. It's it's one of those days, one of those months that FM gives you every so often. Day feeds Parker. Parker, who's playing quite well. Um, the young lad who's learning his trade. Um, and we got big hopes for that boy. And here's Dimitro. Dimitro's playing out of position because of injury. Um, but he's doing a fine job. And Dimitro swings it in and that's headed just over the bar. Abraham is not having a great day. Um, and Forrest Green have sneaked up to within three points of us. And Wilmot, Wilmot, he finds Clark. Clark finds Dolan as we're coming up to half time. And Clark lifts it over the top. And here's Azaz. And that's again a wasted opportunity. And it remains Newport nil, Tranmere 1. And Dolan will swing in the corner. Is there time for the corner before the whistle? And it's headed away. Morris brings it out. <laughs> and Masulu was about an hour and a half late there. And deserved that yellow card. And that is half time. I think we go into the half time. So this is really embarrassing. Um, but I'm not angry. I'm just really disappointed. And I get out there and do something about it. Um, and it's Tranmere who get us underway for the second half. As Foley feeds McDonald, and it's Tranmere once again on the front foot, and we are not picking them up on this left-hand side. That that 
is one thing I've noticed for sure. They are working the ball nicely on the left-hand side. So we're going to make some changes in a minute and switch um, our attack over um, from the right to the left-hand side. Again, um, into space again. And that's a good save by Day. And then brought clear. Here's Farkasen. We've gone to a more positive um, style, um, but we still can't make any headway whatsoever. I think I'm, I'm going considering going four at the back, but just at the moment, while it's 1-0, um, we can just stay with this for a little while. And they're working the ball around so easily. It's, it's quite embarrassing, this. Um, but that's a good block. And finally cleared. We've got a little tired again. This is this team is not great in terms of stamina. And we've brought on some substitutes. We've brought Telford on for Collins, who's not been having a great day, great game. And Livermore has come on for um, for Cooper, who's tired. And Azaz has gone back into midfield. And here comes Livermore. What can you do? And that's a dreadful foul. And what's the verdict? Just a yellow card. As Farkasson feeds Aziz. Aziz to Telford. And again, we've given the ball away. We've been so sloppy in possession. Everything looks bad. Everything looks wrong. It's It just doesn't feel right. And that was a good tackle. And he finds Abraham. Abraham, Dolan, it all looks a little bit laboured. And here's Wilmot. Can he get past his man? And he can. Can he deliver a cross on Abraham? Straight at the goalkeeper again. And this is the story of today. Um, and I'm really, really at a loss to know what to do now, how to actually break this team down. Um, we are now attacking more um, we're pushing forward more we're pressing more and we've got a higher line of attack now um, can Dimitru get across in yes he can and there's Abraham again and it's headed over he's having a really poor time he's had half a dozen opportunities opportunities that he has taken in the past and he's just not putting them away and Newport tried to build from the back again. He gives it to Wilmot. Wilmot inside to Telford. Telford for Abraham. Now, can he do something this time? He gives it back to Wilmot. And that is another sloppy pass. Um, things are just not happening. Um, when the team is playing this badly, there really isn't much that I can do to change things. Again, it's given away. Again, very, very sloppy in possession. And here comes Walker. And Walker scores! And that puts the game away. Takes any doubt that there might have been that Newport could get something from this. And what a fine goal it was too. But here's Dimitru. It's, it's 91 minutes gone on the clock. Dimitru fires in a low cross. And Abraham at the near post strokes it in. Too little, too late. I'm afraid um, this one looks as if it's going the way of Tramnia and our poor performances continue. In all fairness, we do have a long injury list now and stamina is not something that, that we have at this club. Um, there's going to be some players on endurance training in the summer those that are staying and it looks like the game is lost now and there it is the full-time whistle it's Newport 1 Tranmere 2 sadly Cameron Norman during the course of that match has sprained his ankle ligaments and he is likely to be out for between two and four weeks this adds to our already growing injury list and it is getting very difficult to pick a completely fit team at the moment. 
And so that brings a rather dismal February to a close. Three defeats and two victories. A total of six points from a possible 15. That's not going to be good enough if we have aspirations to win the league. But there is always some good news to be found, and both Swindon and Forest Green failed to make up any real ground on us, and so we will go into March after 34 games played and 12 games left to play, five points clear at the top of the league. And so that's it for this episode. We are happy to see the back of February, and now we really need to look forward to March and try to work out all the problems that we have and move forward. And hopefully, we can do that in March. Don't forget to do all that subscribing stuff and um, help the channel to grow. And all that remains to be said now is see you next month.